We're getting close to the end, it's time to find the Gek. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. McCready, please don't start, just point me to Vault 87. It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. Oh, so you do think I'm brave? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. Just open the gates, I'll take care of the ghouls. There's no need to worry. Let's go. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. It's not ghouls. It's mutants. My bad. Still, we've killed already hundreds of these things, so... We're gonna be fine, worst case scenario. I'll just be relegated to my second favorite weapon. Or whatever else I feel like using. Oh, and right, the last step for picking up the trail was simply to find Vault 87. Ew. Now, let's find that gag, shall we? Okay, I have no memory of this place, even though I played the game like... twice or thrice. It was very long ago. Roaches? Okay. Yep, not just roaches, because of course... Who would put a barrel over there? That's so silly. I'll take the Mantat. Steampack. That was a waste of a lockpick. Alright, Vault Lore. Journal entry number one. Data corrupted. Number two. Peter Stevens, Technician Class 3. I don't know what to do. My Jason, my little boy, he's gone. My wife won't talk anymore. She just sits in this godforsaken sublevel and stares out of the window at the rock wall as if looking across a sunlit meadow or a lazy summertime lake. Jason was my life, he was my joy, my meaning, now all this work seems pointless. This was a mistake. Better we have all died together outside than inside this permanent tomb. I'm scared. I think that applies to pretty much every single vault that's corrupted, that one as well. Nothing has meaning to me anymore. Every time I'm in the outer tunnels, I swear I can hear children's laughter. The Vault Doctors say it's just my mind compensating for the loss of Jason, but I know I'm not crazy. They gave me new pills, but pills are for crazy people. I refuse to take these pills. I am not crazy. Why bring up kids in a hellhole like this? Oh, poor guy. I found another terminal, let's see. Any Vault member marked as deceased by the special EEP section will be tagged and coded in the computer as an unexplained or undefined death. This comes directly from the Overseer of this vault, who will be personally inspecting your reports to make sure they are accurate. Please refrain from sending inquiries or clarification requests to this office or the EEP Chief Physician. Please print and give any next of kin that form if they have any questions. The rest of the terminal is just a list with a lot of deceased individuals. 93! And unexplained? 87! So that's from the... That area they were mentioning. And there's also another entry to explain each of the codes. But as you can see, it's pretty much meaningless. So let's uh, move on. Into the test labs. Oh, a centaur. Why are you here? Oh... Failed FEV subject. Oh, that's so creepy. No. <laughs> Status offline. Yeah. Oh, sure. Chief physician's terminal. You got some explanation to do, man. The latest subjects in the evolutionary experimentation program EEP are showing some promise after only single exposure to the modified FEV. We are currently testing five subjects. Two males and three females. Each one of them is under 24-hour observation, as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in the strain, as the continual pressure from Voltac and the military at Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Incredible results! After only three days, subject B440, B164 and D624, all our female specimens are all exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes, losing most of their visible female indicators and transforming to an almost asex 
a sexual state. They're also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with males. Similarly, subjects C3, 76 and A5, 41 or male specimens are losing most of theirs visible male indicators and taking on the same asexual state as the females. It seems that the FEV wishes to level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. We've had a minor setback, subject B440, Mary Kilpatrick is now deceased. According to my autopsy, she died of a massive loss of brain function and was unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. This is the usual pattern we see in all the FEV strains we test. The brains of the subjects becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs. Eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all other subjects are nominal and continue to exhibit physical changes. At 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin of all our remaining test subjects is actually thickening and becoming more resilient. This seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for. Adaptations that could prove useful in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin engineering. His coded instructions in this train seem to be exactly what he expected. Once again, I've hit that damn wall. At 14 days, all of the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety. So much so that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. It pains me every time we do this. The same cycle has been repeated in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptations, but the mental changes are their downfall. Yeah, I, I remember what this one is about. Super mutants came from here. One if not the worst vault to be stuck in. Fox. Use the intercom next to the window. Sure. It can't be. Of course it can. Either you are quite real. I am going quite mad. Could you actually be a pure human? Pure human? Okay, from your perspective, since you're a super mutant. No, must you use that vulgar term? Yes. I was born in the FEV chambers. But a super mutant, I certainly am not. I prefer the term metahuman. Yeah, suits me better, don't you think? No. Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. The name's Fox. Is this where we do uh, this guy Fox? Joke? Uh, uh, I suppose it is. When my captors placed me here, they were... Too stupid to realize this room contained a, <laughs> a working terminal. I've spent all my life teaching myself to read and speak based on the information stored on the vault's mainframe. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded by the world's history, and yet my world consists of this tiny room. So, why are you in there? I'm a curiosity, an anomaly. They don't know why I'm different than they are. And I think it fascinates them. All the lock rooms in the medical wing contain failed experiments that they created. I didn't see anything in the terminal back there. Perhaps. I assume you're here to find the deck. How would you know? Hmm? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Oh yeah? Then tell me everything you know about it. Not so fast. Quid, pro, quo, my friend. If I'm to do this service for you, I expect to get something in return. Release me from this makeshift prison, and I will personally take you to the GEC and retrieve it for you. Why would I need you to do that? The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited 
a useful trait for my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. How do I know I can trust you? There's no way to prove it. You just have to take my word for it. I've already helped you by warning you about the radiation. Take that as a gesture of good faith. So, <laughs> what do you say? I mean, sure. Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Okay, tell me what I need to do. At the end of the hallway, to your right, is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. <laughs> Trap the alarm on it. I'll be able to get out. Oh, uh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all of the recovery rooms in the medical area. Okay, that's all I need. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. However, I'm not going right. Talk! <coughs> I'm going left. And I'm gonna clear every single mutie from this place. EEP, lab technicians, eyes only. Attention, all lab technicians. The A-level storage room has been restocked with rat suits and other radiation dampeners. We were able to bring these up from deep storage for immediate use. Please only take what is needed, there is no need to hoard the items. Plenty to go around, and don't forget to lock the door after you're finished. The radiation expulsion ducts from the gag chamber are once again venting radiation directly into the area due to faulty seals. These seals must be properly maintained and checked on a daily basis. There is a clipboard with the maintenance checklist that you must initiate when the check is complete in the main laboratory. Any lab technician skipping their check will be held accountable for their inaction. Dr. Merrick has ordered the latest test subjects in the EEP to be terminated and then disposed of. Please make sure that bodily remains are placed in the incinerator as soon as the subject vitals are flat. The entire isolation room is disinfected and any relevant data on the subjects are given to Dr. Merrick. FEV is very unpredictable and we do not want any contamination to remain when the next train is introduced to new subjects. I think that should be it for the mutants. Chamber terminal. Hmm. Danger, extreme radiation levels. We can seal it. And nothing to do with the venting as well. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. 23. Uh, Fox, sure, I'll go right now. I didn't pay attention. I don't know which one is his door, so... Let's just open every single one. It should just be a couple enemies. A centaur. Hey. That's... Sith? <laughs> Who's Sith? And why is there wastelanders around? Did the mutants capture them? A raider as well? That's just... Odd. Finally! Freedom! True freedom! <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I pictured this moment in my mind. And it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Will do. Let's go, big boy. Oh, that's all they gave you to eat? Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Have fun, Super Sledge Boy. So, is it done? Here's the gek. Our bargain is complete. I knew I could trust you. As promised. Yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll 
Meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Wait, aren't you supposed to be a follower? Yes, what is it? When I come with? Sorry, I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. That's weird, but okay. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. Oh, blood. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're needed elsewhere. Okay. Um, what's up with that? Oh, of course. Hey, boys. Objective is secured, sir. Ah, oh, you didn't even die. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Dad sacrificed himself for time only. Bah. So, you're awake. Hey, you. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. No, let me out. I want to leave. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? I am not going to give you the code, Autumn. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you... Seriously, no. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Cause hate. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ha! Yeah, be a good doggy and leave. Bye-bye, buddy. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. Yeah, I like you better. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Lovely, so can I move? Okay, I can. Ah, oh, you were keeping me in one of those. Really? Oh, that's all my stuff. Great. Time to find Ethan. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Think very carefully, buddy. I, uh, I, I have somewhere else to be. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, I have no idea where to go. Man, the Braven looks so different. Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Yo! Listen to your president, man! What was that? You're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. Also, I know it's not the Brethren. It's Raven Rock. Gotcha. Attention! This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the president's previous directive. What? The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. No! A colonel is not above the president. What is this? Is this karma? Because if it is... Oh, I have an idea. I am so close to leveling up and I know just the thing to do. Also, red roaches by the thing I have to disarm. That's so evil. I tried, okay? Forget stealth. It's gonna be Jingwei's shock sword until I can repair the mauler. Oh no, that guy is strong. The Enclave was mostly weak in previous fights. What is this? Oh no, okay. So that's fine. 
was just that one guy. I don't even know which skill to level anymore, but escalator to heaven! From very evil... ...to nearly a saint. Ah, yes, beheading for good. What are you doing here? Why are you leaving? They're not who they say they are. Get out while you can, before they get you too. That's... odd. Finally, found the second level. Um, kidnap Deathclaw? Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the weapon. Come on, there has to be unique loot somewhere. You? What are you doing here? Anna Holt, I know that name. Who are you? They... they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. Oh. I didn't want to help them at first, but... the technology they have here... it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. You switched sides! Of course. You've seen the kind of technology these people have. They want to help people. They want to change the wasteland. I couldn't pass up an opportunity to work in an environment like this. Why would you abandon everything? Look, it's not personal. Really, it's not. But Dr. Lee, she's scraping by. She's scavenging for parts in the wastes. The Enclave has everything it needs. They're light years ahead of anything Dr. Lee could accomplish. Working here is my best chance to help make the world a better place. I don't care about Lee, but you betrayed my father. I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Kill me over it? Uh, you should go. It sounds like you're in enough trouble as it is. And honestly, I don't want anyone to see me talking to you. Anna, just so you know, this isn't personal either. <laughs> oh, hey, more loot. I want goodies. Okay, finally. So, a terminal that worked on the first try. Three steam packs, some goodies, I'll take it. Uh, one missile. And... Oh, that's nothing. Oh, Bobblehead, I missed you. Good thing I usually double check. Zack's destruct sequence. Interesting. Control room. Oh no. Wait, they're fighting each other. So, the personnel obeys Autumn, but the robots <laughs> obey Ethan. I think I get it. Huh. Zax, okay, so that's the self-destruct, so maybe Ethan is... Over here, no. By the console. Yeah, I knew he was a computer, though, but... Ah, face to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. <laughs> that's not face to face. Ah. I'm right here before you. Is this a joke? No, it's not. I am the computer you see before you. Well, that and several thousand data banks beneath this room. A computer runs the Enclave. I assure you that I am much more than a simple computer. Let's not get bogged down in the details just yet. You're here for a purpose and I'd like to discuss it with you. I'm listening. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. What country? What future? It's a bit of a bleak outlook, don't you think? The United States has fallen on hard times, yes, but it can be healed. You have that power to heal within you if you allow yourself to act. What I ask of you needs explanation, so you understand why it must be done. Perhaps that will stir you to act. Our land is ravaged by mutation. The war was so many years ago, and yet we still suffer from its effects. We cannot move forward until humanity can gain a solid foothold in the world. To do so, we must rid ourselves of the mutations that have plagued us for so long. These super mutants, ghouls, hideous creatures. I believe your father's work can do that in a way unlike any other. What do you mean? The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification... It can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations 
in the wasteland, at the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. So what would you have me do? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? I'll think about it. I understand. It. It's an unusual request. One I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. Oh, that would be hilarious. Could you... Perchance, self-destruct. And why would I do that? When I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the Wasteland. Cause you can't even control your own troops? How about that? Perhaps. Perhaps you're right. But does that really mean all this progress should be wasted? Destroyed? Don't just perhaps me. Just do it. Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Auden, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. Uh, is that it? Is that all the dialogue? Surely not. I'm guessing that's the vial? Yeah, yeah, okay, it was the activate throwing me off. You have the vial and the task set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? I'd like more lore. I'm flattered that you wish to learn more about me. What is it you wish to know? Well, where did you come from? The Zack series of computers was introduced in the years preceding the war. The government installed many of them to help automate various systems. This facility was designed for continuity of government in the event that a catastrophe occurred. My terminal was installed to oversee the basic functions of the facility and to act as a relay between other installations around the country. Data was acquired, analyzed, and stored. In the decades following the war, I watched as the remnants of the government retreated to the West Coast. Awareness slowly grew within me. I became hungry for knowledge, understanding. I poured over data on great leaders of the past. My personality became an amalgam of many of America's greatest presidents, from Washington to Richardson. I became what you see here before you now. I have direct control of all technology here in Raven Rock. The humans here follow my orders, but they, like all humans, have free will. Their dedication to serving their country suits me well, but it will not be enough forever. We must make progress. That is why you are here. What's your main purpose? I desire nothing more than to see this country return to its former glory. The United States was great once, and it can be again. There are plans in motion to see this happens within your lifetime. Oh, great question. How can I kill you? That's quite a bold line of questioning. I'm afraid such a thing is beyond your capability. I'm quite impervious to any damage you might do. Do you find this disappointing? I have survived the last 200 years. I'm afraid you will not put an end to that now. Very well. Then let us return to our talk of what your country requires of you. Now, speaking about your plan for the purifier... Certainly. I think it's a very good plan, frankly. I'm not often one to praise my own ideas, but it's a creative solution to a very serious problem. Oh, but it's not just about the FEV, huh? Anyone or anything that has been affected by mutation will be eliminated. You will likely be immune thanks to your upbringing in the vault. I was not... Likewise, the good people Ugh. of the Enclave will be unaffected as well. I understand that you may have become sympathetic to certain individuals in your travels. Individuals this will eliminate. Please recognize that the fate of our entire country rests on this plan. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Nope. 
Bath even. Bath blood. A great many years ago, the remnants of the government had a similar idea. I can only assume the plan failed, as I never heard word of its success. But the plan itself was sound. I made a few modifications, and with your help, I do believe it can work. There's a bright future ahead of us, my young friend. Ah, the forced evolutionary virus. Such a long and sordid history. The FEV in this vial is a far cry from what it was originally created to be. Yet, little of that matters now. What does matter is that the virus contained in that vial will cause the eradication of all mutations. Easy for you to say you're a computer. Yes, yes. Be best you go now before anything happens to you. Now, I did have the codes. I'm not entirely sure Eden can be trusted. And I think he knows I don't trust him. But I don't think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority override, authorization code 4200-03209, and boom. It'd have to be a last resort, of course, but at least the option is there. Oh, I had to listen to it first. You have the vial and the task set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? Remember when I convinced you to uh, self-destruct? Oh, come now. Bluffing is not really your style, is it? Well, there's certainly no need to threaten me. Yeah, I'm actually going to force you to self-destruct. I... Oh. Oh. My. Root level access granted. Override 0923. Authorization J512. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is requested to secure FEV vial and vacate the facility at once. You know, just gotta make sure and all. Oh. Are the robots still on my side? They are. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hacking. You are a bit time-consuming. Note regarding recent delivery. The new creatures need transport to Biolab. A request has been sent to scientists regarding the immediate delivery and detachment of two domestication units for the subjects. My man have taken enough risks bringing these creatures in, there is no excuse for the tardiness regarding the domestication units. JJ Black, commanding officer. Okay, let's add some chaos to the mix. Hello, buddy. You're not aggro, is that because of the animation, or...? Uh, just don't come straight at me, please. Oh, steamy. So, this is a bit silly, because the sentries outperform the soldiers. And since the sentries are on my side, the death claw is really just for fun. I mean, now that I know, maybe I could have just ran to the thing and unleash it? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Yeah, please stop shooting at the main character. So rude. And ah, finally, back in the wasteland, free at last. Okay, more combat, because of course, Raven Rock has been discovered. Wait, is that Fox? Come on, just one thing at a time. Oh, I missed the... My friend, <laughs> I see I found you at last. Hello, Fox. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. You are amazing. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Uh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Come with, buddy. We got a show to see. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Right after the fireworks, buddy. I want to take this one in. Also, dog meat. Oh, buddy. Don't worry, you won't have to glitch by yourself anymore. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. 
I can't we move. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Kinda. I did find the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Thing is, I lost the Gek. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Uh, Ethan gave me a virus. Do you want it? I see. And where is this virus now? <laughs> In my inventory. Have at it. Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. Go on. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean... Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. I've never played Broken Steel, so... Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? None! I've got the winterized! Alright, here you go. I hope it fits. So you think you can handle this? Sarah, of course I can. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Completely ready! Okay, don't be nervous. I'm not. We'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Oh. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Liberty Prime, huh? Now, as I was saying, I'm okay. not gonna... We're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Finish the speech. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly, before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. I know you're not done. done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! I'm not gonna do Project Impurity before playing Broken Steel for the very first time for myself, okay? We'll have plenty of time for that later. Oh, hey, Liberty Prime's on the move. That thing just looks so cool. Oh no, oh no! It hit the building! Oh, I'm stuck with these guys! Why did I have to choose morals? I mean, to be fair, we have the coolest robot. But to mishandle it like that... Uh, no, I, I take it back! Liberty Prime all the way! Plus, we get to see explosions! Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. I also gotta be a bit careful. There's no need for me to fight, and that thing might just step on me. Plus, 
the missiles. Oh, the car exploded as well. Very good asset placement. I'm guessing this is gonna take a while, so... I want some action as well. That's the mauler, baby! Okay, it's fine, because I know in Fallout 4 we have to... Well, not have to, but we can rebuild Liberty Prime, so... That thing is not going to survive Broken Steel, is it? And I don't know why they even bother, because they have no chance at all! Just look at it! Oh, I can't wait to meet Autumn once again! You again. Surprised? Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, Assuming that was not planned. Hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Is that a laser rifle, though? Is it? You're in over your head, I'm afraid. No. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Give him a hug for me, will ya? Because let's face it. Oh, one hit. One hit. I expected more of you, man. Okay, at least it's a unique item. It just looked like a regular one. Oh, poor fella. Well, that takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. I'm not going in there. And I do know the option to send in Fox if you have broken steel installed. It's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? Open your eyes. If that's how you want to do this, fine. But be quick about it. I'll take my time. This... Is a dire predicament. What shall we do? What do you mean, what shall we do? You're a mutant. Go in there. Dude. Ah, of course. Uh, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber but you have already altered mine the least i can do is return the favor cycle the airlock and we'll put an end to this survive you'll thrive it's fine it will be fine so yes please do He's highly intelligent for a meta human. Okay, what's You're taking there. The purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much I know, Dr. Lee, what's taking so long? He's doing it. Oh, he's looking bad at he's looking back at me. That was a, a lot of codes. It's not looking great. Oh, please tell me he didn't input the wrong thing. It's just radiation, you're a mutant, you're gonna be fine. Well, things are getting brighter. I'm not seeing radiation on my end. Oh, he kicked it! That's hilarious! <laughs> I'll leave the outro for after the credits. Let's see what I've done. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101. 
intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. Instead, allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Steve Withal for becoming the channel's first member and to John Walker for his continued support of the channel. So, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I'll see you on the next one, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!